Witness me! Hello brothers, it's Tom from the Bunker and we're taking our starting lines riding shiny and chrome towards the gates of Valhalla. Or, for normal people it means that myself, Rob and Jip are going to start playing Gaslands. Um, it's a game by Mike Hutchinson, uh, published by Osprey Games, and it is possibly the cheapest war game I think I have ever found to start. You need a rule book, which you can pick up on eBay for about £15. Some dice, some templates, which you can print out from the back of the book, and some Hot Wheels cars. Okay, so it's a lovely hardback rule book. Published really well. This is like the, I believe it's like not the second edition of the games, but it's a combination of the original rules and then published additional extras and so on and so forth. So, the idea is that in the world of Gaslands, here we go, we have a timeline. So, 1969, Apollo 11, first manned moon mission. 1976 is the first landing on Mars. 79 is the first Martian installation. 82 is civil Martian colonization. 91 is Martian succession. And then basically, Mars attacks. <laughs> And Earth collapses. Earth is a ruined wasteland uh, run over by the corporations of Mars. And as of 2008 to present day, Gaslands, there is no internet anymore. Sorry, kids. Um, Gaslands is the most popular thing on television. And the idea is you can race in death races and against monster trucks and have a great smash up demo derbies and so on and so forth for winning a ticket to Mars. Think death race on steroids with Dukes of Hazard and Wacky Races. So, that's Gaslands in a nutshell. It uses Matchbox cars, essentially. Uh, Hot Wheels cars, it's for Hot Wheels scale. So, you build a gang or a team, a racing team, for a session of cans. Now, cans are like the currency, basically. So we're all gonna start at 50 cans, which is about three vehicles. And they're all different depending on what you want to get on them, what you want to add to them, so on and so forth. You know, you can... And the idea and the beauty of this game is that you take a toy car and you make it into a combat car. Stick guns on it, bits and pieces from model kits, anything like that. It's a template movement system. So, sort of, kind of like X-Wing in that respect. Once you put the template down, you have to move. There's no jutting around and you know obviously it's you can crash into things and slide and skid and shoot each other and blow up and there is a rule which is if you're unsure pick the highest amount of mayhem possible <laughs> which is always good isn't it so yeah it's a lovely game it's a lovely written book it's loads of cool sort of background in there it's a bit like sort of Carmageddon as well if you ever played that game and it's yeah, it's just a nicely written book, nice rule set, simple to play, lots and lots of fun by the look of it. So we're going to really enjoy it. We can make different teams, and all different teams have little bonuses. You can get nuclear engines, you can get all the sort of crazy stuff, prison cars, which I'm sort of thinking is my sort of thing, but we'll see. Buggies, war rigs. Maybe I'll just put a war rig down and just smash up to bits with that. Anyway, um, yeah, so basically we're going to be playing it. Going to be building the cars. It's just a bit of fun, really, and it's a bit of a sort of cheap game to play with your mates, beer and pretzels on a live game site, we were thinking. So, yeah, so that's the rule book. Obviously, all the bits you need in the back are also there, so you can photocopy them or cut them out or whatever you want to do with that. You've got all of your tokens in the back. Obviously, we're going to upgrade to acrylic just because it's easier. And weapons, and it's all sort of summarised in the back. There's loads of weapons. 125mm cannon, harpoon, mine dropper, mortar, near palm dropper, wrecking ball. <laughs> and you have different sort of cars and different things, drag races through to war rigs. And they all have a different hull rating and so on and so forth. We'll explain the rules more when we actually do our first game. But that's a rule book. Uh, let's have a look at some cars. The beauty of this game is any of the shops I go in locally, they sell Hot Wheels cars for a quid, a couple of dollars, something like that. And I bought 10 blind bag Hot Wheel cars from Amazon for like less than £10. So I thought, what better than to open all of these blind bags now and start thinking about things that we can do to make some teams. Uh, Rob's got his own cars, he's working on those, I don't know what he's building. I'm going to build my own, Jip's got some cars and so on and so forth and we're just going to have a big mashup. 
Um, welcome children, if you have just joined us for opening lots of Hot Wheels cars, you know, please subscribe and um, do ask your parents first. So <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. On turn one, via Clio. Oh, look at that beast. That's going straight in, Rob. Look at that. There you go. So obviously I'll be putting cannons on. There we go. That's one straight away. What do you reckon we could call him? The Mint Menace. <laughs> okay. okay. So I think that could be a performance car. Ooh, that's begging for a minigun down there. That is begging for a minigun. That's going in. You know what's going to happen here? I'm going to end up with 10 cars that I want to play. <laughs> I want a prison team. This is my high racing team. Come on. Oh, there's not a car in here. Oh. Uh, oh, okay, that's pretty odd, I'm not sure about that one, that's definitely a performance car. <laughs> oh dear, do you think obviously like with that? These are these are looking like sort of performance cars, which is fine. Um, you can put like mini guns down the side of it, a mine layer, a ram on the front, stuff like that. And the idea is obviously you can make things out of plastic card, bits and pieces. We've all got a bits box, haven't we? With stuff in it. Oh, very interesting. Well, there's five of them up. It's fun this, maybe we found a new direction for the channel. But, ooh. I think I think I seem to have got all racing cars, which is fine. Um it looks like I'm doing a performance team, lads. Oh. Oh <laughs> Okay, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Uh, already ideas are going as to what I can do with these. <laughs> right. Um, right. The spider, eh? Um, yeah, so some of them are probably going to be donated to the various little children that we have in the family. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, that's pretty cool. Space for a driver in there. And you can actually get sprues we can have a driver and so on and so forth, which is pretty cool. That's actually pretty close to the camera dead in car bikes, isn't it? Okay. Last one. What are we thinking? <laughs> yeah, do you know what? I've got some pretty interesting things there. So there's there's the cars. I think my picks for the team. That's going. That's going. I like that. I like that. I like that. And then these are performance cars. So I think I'll start my, my team a bit wee, <laughs> with these. Um, it allows me to make, I'll make that into a, like a, just a box standard car, basically. Um, and then a performance car, maybe another car. So I think may put in this boy. Don't know what you think. I think probably, maybe that to be fair. There we go. A performance car and a pair of cars. That's really interesting positioning there. So on that, I think you can mount a, a cannon of some kind down there. Have a front facing cannon, put rams on them, stuff like that. So they're, they're the cars I'm going to do. Let's have a look at what team I might do. 
So when you build your, your crew, essentially, you pick a sponsor, and it makes you a team. So there's Rutherford, which are like military tech. They're not really the thing I'm interested in. Mizaki are like high performance Japanese cars. Michigan, uh, very similar. They've got crazy sort of tech, like sort of nuclear engines and teleporters and stuff like that. I like the idea of Idris. Um, so they're precision and speed. So it says that Yandy Idris was an addict from the first time. The hot and sweet fumes of a singing petrol engine filled his nose. He could find no other joy on the gates to Valhalla. Um, <laughs> he said that it was the first time he pressed that nitro oxide button. He was like touching the face of God. So basically that sounds like my type of thing. Um, they have precision and speed. Uh, this team made Petrus a nitro upgrade at half the listed cost. Uh, speed demons that gain less hazards when you're playing cult of speed. Basically, they're speed, crazy, mental, let's go super quick. Or there's Team Slime, which are, they're basically reckless and they're like anarchists, which is pretty cool. And you can have any time, type of cards you want. There's lots of different, the Wardens, like the Prisoners. Scarlet is like a, a pirate, essentially. Um, Highway Patrol, Verney, uh, Maxime. The Order of the Inferno, so on and so forth. Rusty's bootleggers. <laughs> Moonshine bar. Uh, yeah, so I think it's probably going to be Team Slime for me. And there we go. So the next thing is to apocalyptify these <laughs> and make my racing team. So I'm super happy with this game. I think it's just going to be a bit of fun, a bit of a laugh. Um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll start by sticking the wheels, I think. Super glue the wheels and... Yeah, we'll go from there. <laughs> but yeah, lots of vehicular mayhem in the post-apocalyptic far future. Not the far future? No. Post-apocalyptic vehicular mayhem in the not-too-distant future. It's coming soon to the channel. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe, stay well. If you play Gaslands, please let us know. Um, I'm not quite sure on the teams. We may just make three cars first and then have a, a death race for a sponsor first and see what, how our playstyles play out. But yeah, expect a bit more of this to come, particularly on our live game tonight. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe, stay well, and travel shiny and bright to the gates of Valhalla.